when I least expect it. <laughs> Dear Diary, here is a list of possible new names for me when I marry Robbie. Mrs. Robbie Jenkins. Jamie Brooks Jenkins. With a hyphen and without. Ms. Jamie Jenkins. Dr. and Mrs. Jenkins. Doctors Brooks and Jenkins. You know what, Kev? Someday, when I'm a famous, um, a famous something, people will pay millions for my memoirs. The school bus, excellent. Time to go to the fair. Love you, slobber puss. Jay, what's with you in the diary? Memoirs? It's just a recorded history of my life, that's all. I know what memoirs are. But why all of a sudden? It's not all of a sudden. I've been writing forever. Three weeks at least. And I can't stop. It's like I have scribble mania or something. Sounds great, so let me read some of it. My most private thoughts are inscribed on these pages. If anyone, and I mean anyone, ever reads this, I'd be humiliated. Oh! Ooh, looky, looky, a diary. Memoirs, thank you very much, Tori. Uh, ooh, memoirs, pardonnez-moi. What are you writing? I wish I was popular as the girl sitting next to me. It's private. I wish I could be as pretty as Tori, too. Don't forget, it's Tori with an I. <laughs> <laughs> she won't give up, you know. She's like a dog who can sense fear. Yeah, well, she's right. Fear is my middle name when it comes to Tori and my memoirs. Half the stuff in here is about me, half is about her brother Robbie, but the other half is about her, if she ever reads it. Put it away! You're freaking me out now. It's safer in your backpack. You're right. Anyway, there'll be lots more to write about on the ride home. Let me guess. About Robbie? Maybe we'll get stuck on the Ferris wheel. It could happen. People are always getting stuck. Getting stuck in a rut? Girl, you have a one-track mind. Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Last stop, the Bennington Park Spring Fair. Now check around your seats, please, because anything you leave behind is mine. <laughs> my wallet. It's Tori's. I'd better tell her. Wait, Jay. If you have Tori's wallet, that means you have Tori's backpack. And if you have Tori's backpack, that means she has your backpack! My memoirs! Memory! I've lost my memory. Good uh, cover, Jay. I have to get my memoirs back before she... Oh, I can't even say it! I can. Reads it! Oh, I'll be ruined forever! Uh-oh! It's Tori's turn to buy tickets! She's gonna see Jamie's diary any second! <sighs> Memoirs! Quick, Evan, lend me some money! Um, sure. Tori! Let me buy the tickets for you! Now, that is what I call major kissing up Jamie. If you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Hey, guys. Hi, Robbie. And anyone wanna go on the Ferris wheel? Me, I do! <laughs> oh! oh my gosh, did you see her today? But, um, I promised my dad I'd go on the bumper cars first. Family tradition.
It's like she's disappeared. She's probably reading my memoirs as we speak. Jamie, she's getting in line for the roller coaster. If you hurry, you can get in the same car with her and make the switch. Roller coasters make me sick. Do you want your diary back? Jay. Me, on the other hand, uh, no way. See ya. Sorry, Kiko, but this is my lucky seat. Just want to sit next to a popular girl, huh, Jamie? You know what? Popularity doesn't rub off. Funny! Because <laughs> I was really hoping it would rub off on... Me! Okay, Jamie? Want to check out the giant corkscrew ride? Corkscrew? That sounds great. But I'm gonna... Oh. Yeah, well, maybe some other time. I didn't know people could actually turn that color green. <laughs> you look like asparagus with pigtails. Are you okay? The nurse says I'm fine. Humiliation is not a medical condition. I've got to find Tori and get my memoirs back. What's the big whoop? So what if she reads your diary? Memoirs. And I'll tell you what the big whoop is. My reputation. I'll be laughed out of school. No kidding. If Tori ever reads how you're the one who put zit cream in her lip gloss, you're dead. And that stuff you're always writing about changing your name when you marry Robbie, uh, whoops. You read my memoirs? Uh, just a tiny peek over your shoulder. I say we split up and find Tori. Yeah, I know. She thinks she's like, so cool, whatever. Me? Okay, first we look at your luck line. Huh? Interesting, don't have one. Moving on. Figures I'm out of luck today. Oh, I see laughter in your future. <laughs> I think I got a knack for this. Jamie, glad I bumped into you. <laughs> Jamie, go to the farm exhibit. Evan, I don't want to go to the farm exhibit. Yuck, the smell alone makes me wanna. But you should go there if you don't want your back to be packed. Oh! Oh, yeah! Love the farm exhibit! The smell brings back memories of when I was born in a haystack! Gotta go! Girls. <laughs> Thank you, um, farm person? to you. Don't tell me you mud wrestled Tori for your backpack. No, but me and a hog went a few rounds. Maybe she won't even look in the bag. I mean, if she had, you'd know it. Yeah, she's probably too busy strutting around trying to be perfect. Could I be so lucky? Nope. Here she comes. Hide! 
farm boy was so smelly and muddy and, well, perfectly muscly. I mean, in a gross farm boy kind of way. Hey, wait a sec. This is not my backpack. Oh, this is too delicious. It's Jamie Brooks' backpack. You know, the popular girl wannabe. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what secrets and lies Little Miss Kiss Up has hidden in her diary. Come on, let's go find somewhere private to rifle through her life. Maybe I can change my name and move to Tahiti. And it's not a diary, it's my memoirs. That's it? A brush? A wallet? A granola bar? I didn't get all the way up on this ridiculous Ferris wheel for the view. I want some dirt. Where's that diary? Why the mopey mug, Jamie? My life's an open book. This open book? <gasps> Must have dropped out of your backpack. Found it under a seat. <laughs> Kept it safe for you. Knew you wouldn't want anyone reading it. <laughs> expect the worst. And when kissing a pig is the worst thing that happens, call me lucky and take me home. Ever notice how moms are totally in the dark most of the time? Sometimes it just takes a really bright kid to show them the light. I'm finished and it's only Friday night. No more homework. An entire weekend to do whatever I want. Fine, I'll feed you first, Kevin. But then, this weekend is all mine. Great, a whole weekend off to organize this house. First the kitchen, then the closets, then the garage. Oh, where to begin? Hello? Jamie, there's a phone call. Oh my gosh. What have you done to your feet? Relax, Mom. It's nail polish. It's called Gorgeous Green. Mmm, interesting color. It'll look great with my white sandals. Number one rule of fashion, never ever wear white after Labor Day. Yeah, right, Mom. This is not the dark ages. Well, don't call me when the fashion police come for you. <laughs> oh, the phone. Sorry, I got carried away looking at my daughter's gang green toenails. The mall? Robbie and Evan are meeting you? Well, hang on, I'll ask her. Raisa wants to know if you want to go to the mall. Mother! Why didn't you say it was for me? I can speak for myself. By the way, I have some things I want you to organize, like that disaster you call a bedroom. I'm on the phone! Hi, Ray. The mall sounds great. Did you finish all your homework? Mom! I'm taking this call in my room. <sighs> Suit yourself. Don't be long at the mall, okay? I could really use your help sorting through all this old stuff. Gee, Mom, sounds like a blast. I know, start without me. See ya. What about a sweater? Yeah! Gorgeous green, my fave. Yeah, this one is a don't in my mom's book. My mom is so the same with all her big do's and don'ts. When will they realize their don'ts are our do's? Exactly! Hey, Jamie, your mom called my mom. She what? Yeah, she wanted to make sure you had a sweater. She did? She was all, bring one for her just in case. She was? Yeah, she was. So I did, and here it is. It was my Aunt Loretta's, but you can borrow it. Might smell a bit weird. She had 23 cats. She did. Look at the cute kitty! <coughs> Jay, I think it's the sweater. Guess they feel the same way I do about pink fuchsia. This is all my mother's fault. Okay, classical goes here. Punk over here and... Heavy metal right here. Hey, have fun at the mall? Yeah, a riot. If you like smelling like a giant pink hairball. Guess what I did while you were out? I completely reorganized your desk drawers for you. I don't know how you got any homework done at all in that clutter. 
I threw out a bunch of garbage. Mother, you messed with my stuff? You're welcome. Hi, honey. How about some meatloaf? I ate at the mall. Fast food instead of your dad's famous meatloaf? Let me guess. I'm not allowed to eat at the mall. I'm not allowed to be cold. I'm not allowed to be unorganized. But I am allowed to smell like kitty litter. What are you talking about, JJ? The sweater, the call to Robbie's mom. That's what I'm talking about. You know I like him. How could you? I didn't know you liked Robbie. See? You don't know a thing about me. And I will wear white after Labor Day if I want to. Did I miss something? Go ahead. Wear white after Labor Day. I thought it was one of your big rules, one of your big don'ts. I am definitely missing something. You mean you haven't gotten the Margot Brooks rule book, volume 47? Rule number 7064, no privacy. Rule number 7065, no life. Look, honey, sorry if I stepped over the mom line and embarrassed you. Understatement. Okay, how about this? We'll chuck out the entire set of books, rules and all, every volume. After all, I am spring cleaning. What? Yeah, uh, what? You want me to stop interfering? But I can't interfere if there are no rules. Okay, I think I'll pass on dinner tonight. Suit yourself. I like the way that sounds. Enjoy your chow, I'm gonna go talk on the phone all night. All right! I said no rules, I meant no rules. Go. Let me get this straight. No rules. You can do whatever you want, whatever, whenever, however I want. So, what are you gonna do first? I don't know, but I'm gonna stay up all night figuring it out. You guys in? Can't, I have a curfew. I've got choir tomorrow, so I have to go to bed early. Aw, you poor girls. I forgot, you still have parents who have rules. Morning, Jamie. Been up long? Only all night. And you ate all this junk. It's a good thing I bought lots of it. Yeah, you're so right, Margo. Junk food and no sleep, good combo. Look, I know I should be helping you organize and everything, but I'm beat. Can I take a nap? Suit yourself. I don't need your help. Incredible. It's like I've entered some parallel universe where no matter what I say, it flies. This rocks! Good afternoon, sleepyhead. Oh, why didn't you wake me up? I wasted half the day. Oh, Sydney and Reza called. They went to the mall without you. I gotta run and catch up with them. No time to eat. Suit yourself. It's raining, Oh, I hate wearing a raincoat, so I'm not gonna. Suit yourself, Jamie. I'm busy. Yes! Those sales were awesome. Too bad Jamie missed them. She's gonna be so miffed when she sees all our stuff. Ah, uh, she'll live. She's got no rules, remember? Hey, you guys. Jamie, you missed our shopping spree. You're soaked. What happened? It's called rain. That's why they invented raincoats. What are you, my mother? Are you okay, Jamie? You look like a wet puppy. I'm great. This whole no rules thing is incredible. But don't you feel kind of, well, weird without any rules? Huh. You guys just don't get it because you're living in your prison of rules. Yeah, well, we gotta get back to our prisons. It's almost supper time and my mom's making her special lasagna. Suit yourself. Ha, huh? yes you can't. Bye, Jamie. My mom would make special lasagna if I wanted her to. She cares about me, I'll prove it. Wait till my mom sees me with one of those babies. Yeah, a fake nose ring, that'll do it. Hi, Dad. Hi, Jamie. Huh, you look different. What is it about you? Something is definitely... The nose ring, Dad. I got my nostrils pierced. I prefer tongue piercings, but hey, suit yourself. Oh, I'll be in my room, making a huge mess. 
Not one, are you crazy or you're grounded? Nothing? Not a word. And you're sure they saw it? I said I got my nostrils pierced. But did they hear you? Sid, they're not blind or deaf. They just don't care. Jamie, they have to care. It's their job. That's right. And they can't just quit. This is some kind of parent reverse psychology. I know it. I'm going to get to the bottom of this if it means I have to spy on them to get at the truth. I don't think she ate today. She must be starving. When she's hungry, she'll eat. I hope this no rules thing hasn't gone too far. I mean, she looked so... <sighs> so what, mother? Punk! A nose ring? It's a good thing you were one step ahead of her and knew it was time for the attention grabber. And for a split second, I thought it was real. I know my daughter, and a nose ring is the last thing she wants. Who does she think? Mommy? Ah, probably just a fuse. I'll go to the garage and check it out. David! Oh, wait! I don't have a light! Oh no, Jamie. <gasps> is that you? Uh, Jamie, yes, it's me. The lights went out. Really, I didn't notice. <gasps> Where'd you get the flashlight? Raza got it for me, when she went to the Magnet 360 concert. Where's Dad? Uh, garage, checking the fuses. Aren't the fuses in the basement? I'm okay. I know the panel's here somewhere. Should we tell him? <laughs> Why spoil the moment? Let's find some candles. Mom, the big flashlight's on top of the refrigerator. Aren't you a clever daughter? <sighs> Mom, you're scared of the dark? Hey, just the pitch dark. I didn't think moms were scared of anything. Nose rings, that's about it. I was just pretend. I know. Kind of like how I pretended to throw out the rule book for a while. I know, I get it. As much as I hate that rule book, I really want it back. How about we come up with a new one together? Deal. Deal. You know, I, I don't think we have a fuse box. This reminds me of when I was young. Hmm, before they invented electricity? <laughs> funny kid. Did you even have peanut butter back then? No, no, no. We had to grow our own peanuts and then mush them up in our teeth to make peanut butter. Aw, gross! <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm allowed to eat peanut butter sandwiches in the living room by candlelight after Labor Day. Look it up, it's in the rule book. The new one.